This video demonstrates the Veritox assay for food allergens. To review sample preparation, please refer to our other videos. This video serves only as a companion to the written materials supplied with the Veritox for food allergen and gliadin test kits. Please read and follow the written instructions in their entirety. Each Veritox kit for allergens contains a foil pouch containing clear antibody coated wells and red marked transfer wells up to six yellow labeled vials containing the range of controls, blue labeled bottle containing conjugate, green labeled bottle containing substrate, red labeled bottle containing red stop, small foil pouches containing PBS powder, wash buffer concentrate, extraction additive with scoop. In addition to Neogen's test kit, materials recommended but not provided are microwell strip or plate reader, timer, one liter bottle to prepare wash buffer, deionized or distilled water, graduated cylinder, wash bottle, pipette tips, adjustable single and 12 channel pipetter, microwell holder, reagent boats, Prepare wash buffer solution by pouring the 40 milliliters of wash buffer concentrate into a 1 liter bottle. Measure 960 milliliters of distilled or deionized water. Pour some water into the wash buffer bottle to rinse and add to the 1 liter bottle. Pour remaining water into the bottle. Cap and mix. Transfer wash buffer to a squeezable wash bottle. Remove one well for each sample to be tested, plus one well for each of the controls. For this example, we will have two samples and five controls for a total of seven wells. Break them off and place in the well holder. Do this for both the red marked transfer wells and clear antibody coated wells. Using a new pipette tip for each, transfer 150 microliters of each control and sample extract to the appropriate red marked transfer wells. Do not use more than two full strips, 24 wells, at one time. Place tips on the 12-channel pipetter and transfer 100 microliters of the reagents from the red mark transfer wells to the antibody coated wells. Be sure to use proper pipetting techniques, including priming the tips and always using new tips. Set timer for 10 minutes. Mix for 10 to 30 seconds by sliding the microwell holder back and forth on a flat surface without splashing. And allow wells to incubate at room temperature. The red marked wells can be discarded at this time. After the 10 minute incubation, empty the wells contents into a waste receptacle or sink. Fill each antibody well with the wash buffer solution and dump out. Repeat the washing five to 10 times, depending on the assay. Then turn the wells upside down and tap out on a paper towel until remaining wash solution is gone. Pour the needed volume of conjugate from the blue labeled bottle into a clean reagent boat. Using the 12 channel pipetter, Transfer 100 microliters of the conjugate into all the wells and mix by sliding the microwell holder back and forth on a flat surface. Incubate for 10 minutes at room temperature. Wash all wells with the wash buffer solution as demonstrated prior. 
Pour the needed volume of substrate solution from the green label bottle into a clean reagent boat. Place new tips on the 12 channel pipetter and transfer 100 microliters of substrate into each well. Set timer for 10 minutes. Mix by sliding the microwell holder back and forth on a flat surface. Incubate for 10 minutes at room temperature. Prepare for the next step by pouring the needed volume of red stop solution from the red labeled bottle into a clean reagent boat. At the completion of the incubation, do not wash the wells. Using new tips on the 12 channel pipetter, transfer 100 microliters of red stop solution into each well and mix by sliding the microwell holder back and forth on a flat surface. Make sure there is no layering or bubbling in the wells. Remove from the well holder. Wipe the bottom of the microwells with a dry cloth or towel and transfer to the far right slot of the tray holder for Neogen's StatFax Microwell Strip Reader. Results should be read within 20 minutes after the addition of Red Stop Solution. Using the 4700 reader, position the carrier to the left so strip A is in the center of the track. Use the Run Test key to access the user's test menu. The instrument will display the pre-programmed tests. Press arrow up or down or advance page to locate the correct test. Or, if you know the test number, press Buy Number, enter the test number, and press Enter. For this example, we are running the Veritox for egg allergen. Confirm the test selection or press No to select a different test. After selecting the test, there will be three options. Accept the test, limit the number of wells, or quit the test. Limiting the wells is not required, but helpful when running only a few wells, as the reader will read all 12 positions unless limited. Select Limit Wells and press 7 and enter. The reader will begin reading and calculating your results. If the correlation coefficient is less than 0.98, the message invalid R less than 0.98 will be printed at the end of the run. Results should be considered invalid if this message appears. 